Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Booster Field here at Maria Stein, right beside the campus of Marion Local High School, where tonight WSN brings you a matchup of two undefeated Midwest Athletic Conference teams. The New Bremen Cardinals are here to play the Marion Local Flyers. My name is Mark Shine. It's my pleasure to do play-by-play -play, alongside my good friend Scott Nurse. And Scott, it's kind of redundant, big game in the MAC on Friday night, but this is a big game in the MAC on Friday night. Well, absolutely. It's two state-ranked teams, and it's MAC football. So you know it's just going to be tough grind it out a ferocious football tonight i'm looking forward to it both teams are four and oh they're both two and oh in conference play how about keys to the game tonight scott well mark i've got three keys number one bring your best both teams are scoring new bremen 30 points a game and marion local 38 points a game but they also have the top two defensive teams in the mac marion local only gives up 103 153 yards a game and new bremen only gives up 168 it's strength versus strength. You got to bring your best, especially on the defensive side of the ball if you want to win this game. Number two, protect the field and the football. You must take advantage of every possession. With these two defenses, you cannot turn the ball over. New Bremen's plus five and Marion Local's plus four on the year. You got to maximize every opportunity to score. Field position with a turnover or special teams miscue falls into that same category. A single mistake could turn this game. No short fields. And then third, leadership. Seniors lead by example, and they usually set the tone, especially in these big games. I think it'll be important to see that leadership on the field to pull the other players up to a higher level. Big players make big plays. Big game experience cannot be underestimated. All right, Scott, thank you for that. It's week five already. We're halfway through the high school season, and the winner of tonight's game is gonna have a leg up on a run towards another MAC championship. Scott and I will be back with a kickoff right after this. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Welcome back to Booster Stadium here at Murray Local, where tonight's scoreboard is presented to you by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alt. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Mark Shine and Scott Nurse here as we see across the field the the Bremen Cardinals coming on the field. Let's talk about uh, our officials first of all this evening, Scott. And, We'll put their names up on the screen here. Let's, read oh, let's go through New Bremen first of all. We've already got them up. Coach Chris Schmidt. They're 4-0, 2-0 in the Midwest Athletic Conference. And they have played extremely well on both sides of the football this evening. They will start out on defense tonight. Here's Mary Local, Tim Goodman's team. They also 4-0, and they are ranked number one in Division seven, uh, Division 6 this year. New Bremen is number three in Division 6. Here's our officials, Scott. We'll get those up on the screen for you. Yeah, we got a referee, Lonnie Freeman, and then Peter Blubble, Aaron Brac Bracconi, Michael Hammer, Tony Maniac, and Alan Russell. Maniachi. Right. I think it's Maniachi. I think it is. So. Well, as I said a moment ago, the uh, – Toss was won by New Bremen. They have deferred to the second half and they will kick off. It is currently 77 degrees. Scott, the flag is having about as limp as it can hang. And I think it's going to be a very wonderful night for football. It's going to be in the low 70s by the time we wrap this up, perhaps even the upper 60s. Yeah, absolutely. The flag didn't move during the national anthem. Yeah. We got a good crowd. It's what I love to see. The stands are pretty much full. You got people all around the fence line. It's senior night. It's a great night for football. Let's talk a little bit about what we're going to see with this uh, Marion Local team in the conference. Offensively, they're number four with the rush, number six with the pass, and that totals out to being third overall, and they average 37.8 points per game on the season. But they're looking at a team from New Bremen that's very solid defensively, giving up just three and a half points per game on the season. Here's our kickoff, and the ball is headed deep. And it ends up into the hands of Drew Laus. And Drew heads up the left side. He's got some room to run. And he's going to finally get dragged down as he gets over the 35-yard line. Drew Laus. Well, and that's exactly the way you want to start, right? It is. And they're going to put the football down on the 36-yard line. Marion local quarterback is Tate Hess on the season. He is 22 of 37. He's thrown one interception, 392 yards, eight scores. He's also rushed for 203 yards and a couple of scores. And they have a whole herd of people who end up in the running in back position. Hess wears number 10. And he will turn and hand off. And trying to go over the left side is Darren Meyer. Darren is a 
running back with 149 yards and four scores on the season. And Mark, you talk about uh, running the football with Marion Local. This defense for New Bremen is a tough defense. They've only given up two touchdowns this far this year. Excellent defense. It's going to be a real challenge for Marion Local to move the football tonight. There's Meyer in the backfield again with Hess. Shifts to his right hip, and Hess will look right. Looks, throws, got a man open, and what a great catch. Stretching out and grabbing it is Nathan Busher. Yeah, that was a great effort by Nate Busher. No question about it. And, and I like where Hess put it. That's pretty much the only place he could have put that football and been able to uh, complete the pass. That's our first down of the game for tonight's first down sponsor is Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. That's Busher's sixth catch on the year. He averages 23.6 per catch. Picks up a first down there. This is Adi in the backfield now in the Wildcat type. Adi goes off the right side of the formation. He cuts it back inside, runs over somebody to the 40-yard line. That might also be a first down. And it is. Another Pantry Pride first down as he gets an 11-yard pickup to the 40. Well, that's better than his average. He averages 7.1. It's a tough runner. He's strong, low to the ground. I like that Wildcat. Mm -hmm. I like that direct snap because what that really does is it, instead of the quarterback handing it off, it gives you that extra blocker, and they took advantage of it there. A couple of receivers will go to the left, Meyer and Hess in the backfield. Here come the Cardinals. Blitz. Meyer almost was able to break it. Could not quite run by the tackle of number 25, Dylan uh, Hemauer. But still a pickup inside to the 38-yard line, so a couple yards there. Yeah, nice play there by Dylan. New Bremen in that 5-3 defense, they've got, a, they've got a tough front line. It's difficult to get through that initial defensive front. And in motion, quick handoff, headed for the outside is Laws. Cuts back inside, showing his speed. And he gets another Pantry Pride first down, this time down to the 25-yard line. Pickup of 13. Well, loss averages uh, 3.8 yards per carry. He got a lot more than that on this carry. That's actually considered a pass forward. Just a good run. Marion Local is moving the football mark right down the field. Yes, sir. This began back on their own 36-yard line. Every play has been a positive play. Two receivers to the right, Busher and Adi. And what do we got? Looks like we got an official timeout. An official timeout. What's the discussion about? Looks like we got maybe an equipment situation as this will be number 56, Jake Top coming off. Jake's a tackle. He will be replaced by number 54, Luke Webker. It could be equipment, it could be yeah. blood. Could be, yeah. You know, if they find blood on the jersey, they got to sub them out right away. I'm looking at the sidelines to see what they're dealing with. And, well, let's get back to the action here. Here's Meyer and Hess in the backfield. Hess rolls, and he runs. What a sack. Tracking him down very quickly was number 56, Evan Ike. And just by chance, Scott, when we were doing our pregame, I was down in the field beside Evan Ank. He is listed at 6'2", 215, and he is every bit of that. Well, he's quick, too. He, yes, I mean, he, get here. He, he had no problem matching speed with Hess. Hess never had a chance to really look downfield. And by the way, I was watching the DBs, and uh, the, the receivers were well covered. Good job on both ends by the defense. Well, the receivers go two by two. This time it's second and 20 after the sack. Hess will run it up the middle. Now he breaks it to the left side. Hess has got room to run. And a saving tackle from behind as he's grabbed by David Holman. As I mentioned, uh, New Bremen's in that like a 5-2, 5-3, and then they got covered too deep. So if you can get through that initial line, um, you, you know, there's some space there. There's some space in between that initial front and the defensive backs. And Hess was able to pick up some good yardage there. He was. It was an 11-yard pickup, so we go to third now and uh, nine.
come the Cardinals. And they got him in the backfield. No, they don't. He kept the football, didn't he? Well, I was watching uh, Meyer when he got corralled, but instead Hess kept it and he got tackled. Yeah, really good job of assignment football there. And Hess is down. We get a timeout. Yes, we do. Injury timeout for Hess. We're going to take a break. You're watching High School Football WOSN. Home and Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, member of, the, member of the Wayne Insurance Group, with two locations to serve you in Chickasaw and in Versailles. Not only the timeout for the injury, but also to take Hess out of the game. And uh, Coach Goodwin then took another timeout. So he has used one of his timeouts in that rather lengthy break. It is fourth and 10. Audie's in to play quarterback. Now he can throw the football. He did that earlier in the season. The game we did it with Wapak. But obviously he's a good runner as well. It's fourth and 10 flyers. Audie to throw. And puts it out. It's picked off. He threw it in the hands of Aaron Tiemann. Tiemann up the sideline. And Tiemann gets run down from behind. And an interception. We have our first turnover of the game. Well, that was a huge play, you know. It's interesting that, that they would have Adi come in and throw the football there. They were kind of in no man's land, really. Uh, fourth and 10, can't really punt it. A little too long for a field goal. They chose to throw the pass here. Bremen played it well. Had two guys actually out there on the, defend, on the defense. And well, we have a flag uh, for something, Scott. We've not moved the, the, the down markers yet, and we're walking back a long way. And it's going to be a block in the back, I think, after the INT. Either well, way. that negates a big return by Tiemann, but still key turnover there by uh, Marion Local. The ninth play of a drive turned into an Aaron Tiemann. Well, and that's that defense, Mark. They, uh -huh. Mar Marion Local walked down the field. It looked to me like they were just running through this defense. New Bremen sort of stiffened there and then uh, rose to the challenge. Got the, got the pick. Now well, have the football. It is New Bremen football. The question becomes where they set it down at. It looks like it's going to go to the 35-yard line. This brings in David Holman to play quarterback. He wears number five, and he is the reigning offensive player of the year in the MAC, having another fine year as a senior quarterback this year. And we'll get you his numbers after this. He's going to hand off inside and bouncing inside for a little bit of a gain anyway. He's the leading ball carrier. That is Hunter Schaefer. Yeah, Holman accounts for 110.8 yards per game, just himself. Uh, he All-purpose yards. He's uh, he's a do-it-all guy. Can run, throw. So you get a good look there at uh, number 28. Hunter Schaefer is Hunter actually Schaefer. A, a couple yards behind Holman in the uh, rushing department this year. They're very close to, to statistically. Second and six after the four-yard pickup to the 39. Here he comes again. He's got a flag behind this one. You can see the big, strong running back, Schaefer, 5'10", 193 for the senior. Well, and that's part of what makes New Bremen so good, I think, uh, Mark. They've got two of the top ten rushers in the MAC in their own backfield there with Holman and Hunter Schaefer. And they're going to have to overcome a holding penalty to keep this drive alive. Flag is right, laying right at the 34-yard line. Yeah, and that's two big penalties. You don't want to do that. All the way back to the 25-yard line, where it will be second and 20. Well, they're last, Mark, in the MAC in yeah. penalties. They've got 24 on the year, 245 yards in penalties coming into the game. They've already had two here on this particular series. Two receivers to the right for Holman. Single receiver to the left. Schaefer's in the backfield with him. Holman's going to roll right and dump it out and throws it a little bit low and it will fall incomplete. So they go to third and 20. You know, I just feel like um, a lot of teams come in here to Marion Local and they have such a rich tradition of success that it's a little intimidating. You know, it really is to come here because all the thoughts of, you know, they just don't lose here. But I feel like New Bremen the last several years has had a little bit of a, you know, we can play too mm -hmm. attitude. Agreed. And, uh, you know, there's a little pep in just the way they're moving out on the field right now. And Holman is going to get back to the line of scrimmage perhaps on third down. But he did a good job just to corral yeah. the ball. Football, a little bit of a bob on the snap. It's kind of over his shoulder. 
Coleman going Bobbled it right there. And then you see number 56 got back there in a hurry. That's Jake Top. Glad to see him back in the football game. Not much margin for error, is there? So the football will be on to 25. And we're headed to punt formation. Marion Local's coming. Yeah. They are coming. Ben Saylor averages 32.4. Ball's kicked and into the hands of Busher. Busher's trying to get wide and is tripped up. What a play. We've got a flag in addition to that. Wonderful play by uh, was that Bam Bauer, I think it was. Number 25, Dylan. And I think he got blocked illegally as well on the punt. Yeah, I think they're going to call that back. Nate Busher on punt returns. His excellent punt return. He averages 10 per return. And you can see here, yeah. I, I, I thought the Marion local player was trying to avoid contact. Flag came in. Here's our official, Lonnie Freeman, to make the call. It is an illegal block that will go against the Flyers. And back we go for their second possession. This one will begin with 5.26. The Greenman had the ball for less than 90 seconds to run three plays and punt. And back to the 35 we go. They started the first drive on the 36, so familiar territory for them. Good to see Hess back in. It Quarterback. Is. Yeah. He came off the field like he was going to be able to play, and that proves to be the case. One receiver each way. He's got Meyer in the backfield with him again. Laws on a little short little tip pitch. He's got speed and up the middle he goes. Ball's loose and it's recovered. Jumping on the football was number 83, Zeller. And Mary Local fumbles it back. They've had two turnovers. Uncharacteristic, Mark, and we talked about this. One of the keys to the game is you cannot turn the ball over. You got to protect the football. And you see it just, uh, it just slides out of his hand there. Clear possession recovery by New Bremen. Zeller got that one, 6'5", junior. So Marion Local comes in plus four on the year. Yep. They're now down to plus two. Holman in the backfield along with Hunter Schaefer. This is a quick handoff. This is Teeman trying to get to the edge, and he's got nowhere to run as he is brought down in the back by, backfield by Arling. Yeah, he didn't look fully committed to that run. He was kind of looking for some space, and nothing appeared. He really didn't have anywhere to go. It's a no gain on first down, so it'll be second and 10 from the 46. You know, it'll be interesting to see how Marion Local's defense reacts now. Two turnovers. Schaefer trying to get wide. And gets a couple of yards running to the short side of the field. He's strong. He is. 93-pound running back. You know, a lot of these guys play both ways, offense and defense, in these smaller schools like this. And it's, it, it's interesting to me, sometimes when the offense has a problem, has a couple turnovers like that, you see the defense sort of, uh, you know, energize, re-energize. So it'll be interesting to see if Marin Local can stand up here. It's third and about seven. Hunter Schaefer picked up about three, so we're looking at third and seven from their own 49. And Time we out. have a new Bremen timeout. 4.40 to go. We'll take a break. You're watching High School Football on WSN. Tonight's very local premier sponsor is OPAC in Osgood. For all your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs, call OPAC. Freeman takes their first time out. I think Coach Schmidt realizing how important an early third down is at near midfield. He's going to have Holman in the backfield. It's hard to give you David numbers a few moments ago. He's 26 of 41 with one interception, 293 yards, and three scores throwing the football. He's going to throw this one, being chased. Lofts it down the field, throws it over Teeman's head. Back to the 49 we go for what is probably going to be the second punt of today. Yeah, good coverage there by Tate Hess defensively, but I thought Teeman had a little bit of a step on him there. That ball was just a little high. The punter is going to be Zeller. He averages 38 yards on his punts this year. He has 
Kind of traded off duty sometimes with Ben Saylor. And that's kicked end over end. And Busher tried to get it, then it bounced. But it's going to bounce sideways, so that's not going to be much of an issue on the re where the ball gets placed. And Mary Local once again take over. So it's got two turnovers, but they get the ball right back thanks to their defense. Yeah, their defense. Well, you know, as, as we said at the top, these are two really good defenses. And we've seen that. We've seen Marion Local hold a couple times yep. here in a row, and we've seen New Bremen well, get turnovers. Let's look at this, Scott. Typically, if you're number one in either rushing or passing, you, you lag in the other fa factor. You know, if you right. run to stop the run, people throw the ball against you and vice versa. Marion Local is number one in the conference in both rushing defense and passing defense. 65 yards on the ground, less than 88 yards through the air. They are the number one scoring defense. They've given up seven points all year. That was in the second quarter of their first game with Wapak. Here's Adi trying to get the corner. And not much room to run. And they did a great job of stringing it out. Here comes a flag. Lots of penalties early. This one's going to go against the team wearing blue and gold. Yeah, we have had a lot of penalties, Mark. Yep. That was a holding there at the point of uh, kind of the line of scrimmage. Well, they put the move the flag back to the 30. And there was the 27 was the original line of scrimmage. Let's see where we end up being penalized. It's a hold. 22, 22, 22. And the football goes back to the 19 yard line. Where it will be first down. First down and about uh, 20. Of course, this new Bremen team is number four against the rush, number two against the pass. They are the second best team in the conference defensively, too. Meyer shifts. Here's has to throw over the middle. It's caught. She throws the ball right into the hands of Aiden Eifert. That was just an excellent throw, Mark. I mean, yeah. there was a very small window there, and he put that in that, that window, as you're going to see here. 16-yard pickup to Eifert. Eifert, Eifert has, that's his fourth catch on the year. He averages 13, got about 16 there. Second and three. There's Adi in the backfield this time. To take the snap. Right there, Adi's going to run to his right. And too many white shirts. He's lucky to pick. Got broke through that. How did he do that? A pantry pride first down for Kyle Adi. Mark, that, <laughs> that's amazing. All 22 players yeah. were between the hash and the sideline, and somehow he finds a, a small crease here. It looked like he was going to be stopped for a loss, and uh, he's able to find a crease there and pick up plenty for the yeah, first he got, down, he got about 12. 10, 11 yeah, yards. Yeah, he yeah, got 12. 12 for a first down. They're going to go high this time. Up back, Meyer. Over midfield and gets gets stood up and pushed backwards. Nice job by that front line. Let's talk about Marion Local. Front line there offensively. Jake Top, Shane Fleck, Mason Rose is the center, Adam Winters is the guard, and Kyle Ungren is the other guard. And they've uh, they did a really nice job on that particular play. Got three, second and seven. Two and a half to go. Opening quarter. We're scoreless. Adi goes left. Hand off Meyer. He's got room to run. There's a face, face mask, mask in there. Yep, that's yeah. going to be a first down and a penalty. Another pantry pride first down. I like that a little misdirection inside handoff there. Nice run, good strong yeah. run. And I think you're going to be able to see it here on the replay where he gets his right. face mask grab right there. Right you there. can yep. see it. The run was to the 42. We're going to tack some yardage on to that one and move it to the 27, right? That would be 15. That it is. So first down to the 27-yard line. It ends up being a 23-yard play with the penalty tacked on. Well, they were about this same line of scrimmage when New Bremen stiffened last time. Has to throw. And looks, looks, it breaks down. And he just throws it out of bounds. Throw it away and live to fight another day. 
A lot of pressure. Yeah. yeah I thought he was going to tuck it and run the first time, Mark. He kind of stepped up into the pocket, got a little space, and uh, brought it back out. Second and 10 from the 27. Adi, Meyer, Drew Seitz in the backfield. This is Seitz in motion. Low snap, Adi hands it off to Meyer. Darren Meyer gets to the 20 before he gets tackled by Tiemann. Man, Darren Meyer is tough. He, he just runs over people. To the 21 yard line, so they picked up six. Yeah, third he, and four, just outside the red zone. He does not mind contact, that is for sure. Well, when you're a defensive player of the year in the conference as a junior, you probably do like con uh, contact, which he was. Plays both sides of the ball some this year. Averages five yards a carry. He's got four touchdowns. This is Adi, and he steps right into a tackle. Good job of playing that defensive end spot over there. Was that no, it was 23? I thought it was uh, 83, but that's Ben Saylor makes the stop. Well, now you got a little bit of a tough decision here. Good job here by the defensive end to shed the block and make the tackle there, as you mentioned. But now it's fourth and about five. They're sitting about the 21-yard line. 21, 22, whatever it is. They need about five. Scoreboard I mean, says they need five, so we'll yeah. go with that. I mean, I'm thinking you could kick yeah. a field goal. They're saying, no, we want the touchdown. We want the first down. They need five. Hess takes the snap, looks, looks, throws, out pattern, and what do we got? I think the whistle blew before the ball was ever snapped, wasn't it? It was, and New Bremen took that timeout. With just, uh, let's take a break. We're getting near the end of the first quarter. We're gonna take a break. You watch high school football, WSN. Our touchdown sponsor tonight is Speedway Lanes in New Bremen. They bring family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. They have no touchdowns in their opening quarter with just 33 seconds remaining. New Bremen has taken their second time out. Well, and you talked about uh, Marion Locals at the top defensively. New Bremen's yeah. number two. They don't give up points either. Here's Adi moving into the quarterback position. He's got Meyer on his left hip. Eifert goes in motion and sets. Adi's going to run left. Cuts back inside, and he runs through the first tackle, runs through the second tackle, headed to the end zone, and he got there. Kyle Adi on a 21-yard touchdown run. And how many times did it look like that young man was down in the backfield? Well, and Mark, I think number two, Aiden Eifert, had a great block out there on the edge and allowed Adi to get to the outside. He only had one man to beat there. Puts a little sidestep move on him, and it's clear sailing to the end zone. But, uh, yeah. you know, Aiden Eifert deserves some credit. We did that uh, call just as we should have. Speedway Lane sponsors our touchdowns, and that's what we get right after making that read. Carson Bills does the PAT efforts. He's made 15 this year. <laughs> Snaps down, kick, and... He sails it through. So, Marion Local is on the board first. 24 seconds to go in the quarter. You're watching high school football on WSN. The Marion Local Flyers scored from outside the red zone. They scored from the 21-yard line, but our red zone sponsor tonight is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy-efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. 73 yards, eight plays, four minutes and three seconds went off the clock, and Scott Nurse, I would call that a flyer drive. Yeah, that's exactly what they wanted to do. They had a couple drives that with some miscues, they put that drive together all the way to the end zone. Now what's interesting is New Bremen's only given up 14 points for the mm -hmm. year. They played four games, they gave up two touchdowns. They've now played one quarter here in Maria Stein, they've given up one touchdown. So how will they respond, how will they react, would be interesting to me. Well, Kel Gogig is deep, along with Aaron Tiemann. As Carson Bills does the kickoff duties. And kicks that one. That's headed out of bounds. Way out of bounds. 
So with 24 seconds to go here in quarter number two, well, you realize, Scott, if you look back through the scores that uh, New Bremen shut out their first two opponents. They gave up seven each to their last two opponents. So they, they've been very solid defensively all year long, and they have given up seven here in the opening quarter to the Flyers. Football will be down on the 35-yard line after the ball headed out of bounds with just 24 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And they're choosing to take it on the right hash. Sorry. Yeah, I think they had to retrieve the foot. They were out of yeah. footballs, so they had to go get some footballs and replenish each one of the sidelines there. Here's Holman in the backfield. David Holman rolls to his left, snap throw. Oh, oh it's picked off. Look out, headed to the end zone. This is Arlig, and he gets knocked out of bounds. Landon Arlig with an INT. Well, you're going to see on the replay here, Mark, it looked like the receiver was open for Bremen, and, and you're right. That was uh, that was Arlig just steps in here right at the last minute. You see him make a break on the football. Great job, great anticipation by Landon. He almost houses it. And with two teams that have not turned the ball over all year, we've had them in the first quarter. Two by the Flyers, one by uh, the Cardinals, and the Cardinals are now set to give up perhaps another score here to this Flyer offense. Yeah, and that's a big, Hess big turns, turnover. Hands it to Meyer, and with a one-yard touchdown run following the INT, Myers in the end zone. And that's Darren Myers' fifth touchdown mm -hmm. of the year. I would bet most coaches would like a drive of one yard that takes three seconds. Absolutely, and that's a big one. You know, we talked about that at the opening, about protecting the football and not having turnovers, and, and that turnover really was a pick six, almost really. I mean, it, it, they, they didn't quite get there, but essentially it put Marion Loke in a position for an easy score, and they go up 14-0, or 13-0 with a PAT. Touchdowns today is sponsored by Speedway Lanes. Here's Pills again. And kicks that one through. It's 14 0. He's made 17 of those. And of course, they scored in the red zone. Our red zone sponsor, a nice match heating and cooling. So the Flyers all of a sudden have taken a scoreless game and made it 14 0. And uh, we are just 12 seconds away from going into our first quarter break. Goodness, how things changed in a hurry, Scott. Let's take a break. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Tonight's first down sponsor is Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means the best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. It's Pantry Pride, our first down sponsor this evening. With 12 seconds to go in our opening quarter, here's New Bremen going to take a kickoff again. Still kicking off in flat. You know, the good part is New Bremen averages almost uh, 38 points per game. So, or I'm sorry, almost 30 points a game. So they can put points on the board. They can respond here. This is going to head to Teeman. Teeman up the right side, makes the first guy miss, and then gets run out of bounds on the far side of the field with just five seconds to go here in our opening quarter. Good run back by the junior, Aaron Teeman. So let's see if... David Meyer and company can get things going from their offensive end. We gave you his passing stats a moment ago. He's also rushed this year for 312 yards and six scores. And he will be in the backfield along with Hunter Schaefer. He's got a lot of experience. He, he knows how to respond after a turnover. And that one will go nowhere. Flyer defense really stiffened the last few plays. That brings our opening quarter to an end from Booster Stadium here in Marion Local. Back with second quarter action, you're watching high school football on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Well, we were scoreless until there were 24 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Flyers score. INT score again. They take a 14-0 lead. New Bremen trying to recover as they have a second and 10 from their own 35. And Holman, who wears number five in the backfield, along with Hunter Schaefer, who wears 28. Option, 
and tries to cut back inside. And there's no room to run as playing defense in that particular spot was Drew Seitz. Yeah, I thought he might have pitched that to Hunter Schaefer. He looked like he had some running room on the outside here, but he elects to keep the football and, and turn up field, just lost his footing there. And we are to third and 10 from the 35. Single coverage defensively. You look for Holman maybe to take take a shot here. Schaefer goes in motion. Holman rolls, rolls, and then gets sacked. No, he runs through it. But not that time, and the ball's loose. Marion Local has it. Yes, they do. Fumble recovery on the far side of the field was by Arlick, who's had a really nice last four or five minutes of action, but just trying to make something happen, we get a fumble. Well, and you see here, uh, David Holman's trying to make a play. He's trying to do his best to help here and, and tries to tuck yeah. it. And there's number 14 again, punches right. the football out. He had the interception. Now he's got a fumble recovery. And, and it did both ends. He punched it loose and then picked the football up. So we're on their 22-yard line, and the Flyers – are in great shape once again. Here's Meyer, runs through the first guy and barrels over a couple more guys. Good run, Darren Meyer. Did he, did he pick up five, did he? Yeah, you know, interesting. Both teams have had two turnovers now. The difference is New Bremen has turned the ball over basically in the red zone for Marion Local both times, uh, or the result of it what was, was in the red zone, if you will. New Bremen's turnovers, gave the ball back to, or gave New, Marion Locos turnovers gave the ball to New Bremen basically at midfield. So they weren't able to capitalize on it. Second and five. And did they jump? Looking to see if they got a flag. Looks like they got the offsides on the Cardinals coming in from the left side of your screen. There's Lonnie Freeman to make the call. Is it enough for a first down or is it just short? Looks like it's just, no, it is first down. Pantry Pride first down. We're also inside the red zone. Our red zone sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. It's your home in the energy efficient zone. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to mattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. So first down, thanks to the penalty to the 12. Trips left. Meyer shifts to the right of Hess. Hess look out quick, finds Adi. Is it a fumble? He dropped it and is incomplete. Probably a, a good, you know, incomplete pass there. I think Vadi would have caught it. There were a couple of defenders right there, and he might not have been able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So, I was concerned perhaps it was, uh, you know, backwards was going to be ruled a fumble. It was not. Either way, Adi had gotten onto the football. And we go to second and 10 now from the 12-yard line. Tate Hess will take the snap and roll left. Snap throw. It's caught with a sliding catch. Got his hands underneath that. Is it number five again, Busher? Yes, it was. It is. Yep. So Busher's catch. Let's see where they looks like they put it down on the six, which would be a six-yard pickup. Yeah, and that's really messing his average up, Mark. <laughs> he came in averaging 23 per catch. That was just a short uh, seven-yard catch. We're looking at uh, third and about four. Ben Ranley's in Hess, the backfield Hess now. Is, Hess is uh, split wide by himself. Adi hands off. Meyer, did he get to the end zone? He is just short. He did pick up a Pantry Pride first down. And they are knocking on the door again as they're on the one-yard line. Yeah, and I think uh, that's the right guy to give it to. You get close to the goal line, you give it to Meyer. He's, uh, he's very productive inside the tackles there. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't get the football again. 5'10", 195. He runs low. He's a difficult target. They're going high. Power football right here. And into the end zone or bounced around looking for the score sign. And there it is. Meyer gets into the end zone for the second time. Yeah, and I'm looking at uh, our, our uh, 
I'm looking at our roster. I don't have number 36 on the roster, but uh, um, nice job. Yeah, that's Partington. He has switched numbers. He has been 62 throughout the season. He's now 36, so okay. that's Simon Partington. Yeah, nice yep. job uh, lead, leading that hole from the fullback position. So what ended up being a 22-yard drive, and here's our kick, and we get a flag before we do so. Mark, so we have had a lot of flags. We have a lot this, of this flags this evening. It took 211 off the clock to go those 22 yards, and they did so on just five plays. So are they going to go for two? Penalty was against New Bremen. They moved it half the distance. And it looks like it. Here comes Hess back in the game along with Adi. Already 20, looking to try to get it to 22. Meyer, Adi. They go, they go power football yes, they again. they do. Here we go from a yard and a half out. Look for Adi. It is. Pitch Adi cuts inside and runs through three tackles and gets into the end zone. And the Flyers are putting this one away early. They're up 22-0. With 9.09 .09 to go in the second, you're watching High School Football WOSN. Our touchdowns tonight are sponsored by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen. They bring families and friends together with bowling, fun, and great food for everyone. And there are now three very local flyer touchdowns on the board tonight with 9.09 .09 to go here in quarter number two. Well, and they earned that first one with a 76-yard drive, but the last two have basically been handed to them on a, uh, on a platter inside the red zone, and they've taken advantage of it, no question about it. Very opportunistic from a New Bremen team, which was plus five in the turnover category coming into tonight. Here's Carson Bills to kick off again. And the kick is going to head towards Teeman. And Aaron will get it at about the 10 yard, about the five yard line. Up the sideline he goes. And gets out of bounds right around the 25 yard line where David Holman and crew will take over. There's a good shot of Aaron Teeman. Yeah, he's strong. He just shedded Marion local defender with that uh, stiff arm like, like it was nothing. And there is the football going down on the 25 yard line. New Bremen needs to put points on. They need to drive and they need points. I was just going to say the same thing, Mark. Go, it kind of, uh, you know, stating the obvious, but they, yes. they need a score. Here's Holman. David, three-yard run for him on first down. To the 28-yard line. And they would uh, really be benefited by a lengthy drive. Take some time off the clock and kind of – Start, stop some of this momentum for the team wearing blue. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, Marion Local does a really nice job on the edge defensively of forcing you to the middle, kind of into the funnel. And then you got Darren Meyer in the middle of that funnel. You've got a couple good linebackers there. They clean it up. Schaefer tries to cut back against the grain. He also picks up three as he gets to about the 31 yard line. And so they are looking at third and about four. Here it is again. Yeah, and you see again uh, outside, there's nothing there that Marion Local doing a good job defensively, of keeping them inside the tackles. Aiden Eifert uh, making a tackle. Eifert was a all conference player a year ago as a DB. Well, Marion Local's got two good, oh, two my. good linebackers back there with Darren Meyer and uh, third and important. Landon Parley. Four. Yep. Holman looks to throw, and they got him in the backfield. Sack. Is that Sites, I believe? Yeah, I missed the number on it. Was that Partington, perhaps? But anyway, we get a sack in the backfield. That was Sites. It was Sites. Yeah. Yes, it was. But again, da David tries to escape outside to try to get away from that initial pressure up the middle. And uh, Marion Logo will not let you get outside. 11-yard uh, loss on the sack. It's punt time. and Nice punt. It is. Ball hangs up in the air. And fair catch right at midfield <laughs> by Kyle Otte. And Marion Logo gets good field position with 7.08 to go in the quarter.
And now, Scott, we talked about the importance of New Bremen trying to get a score. They were unable to with a three and out. Now their defense really needs to step up. Yeah, there's seven minutes left. And, you know, we talked about, too, one of the other keys of the game is that, you know, big players make big plays in big games. And, and we've seen that from the Marion local side. We need to see that from New Bremen. They, they need to step. They need to get a stop here for sure. Has some Darren Meyer in the backfield this time. This is Meyer. He picks up a couple of hard-earned yards to the 48. Darren Meyer's getting more carries, I think, uh, than what we were used to seeing earlier in the year. They, they balanced it up with a lot of guys carrying the football early, and he seems to be getting the bulk of them this evening. Well, and I, I think that's because he's productive with the football. I mean, he really does a nice job running the football. He averages five yards a carry. He's got six touchdowns now in the year in, in four and a half games. So he, he's been very productive for Coach Goodwin, and I think he's uh, being rewarded. Comes Adi Hess is going to roll right. Look. And got a hold of him, and he's going to throw it out of bounds. No, it's caught. What a play on the far side of the field. How about the heads-up play of the quarterback, Tate Hess? He found Busher again on the sideline. I thought he was throwing it away. I did, too. And, uh, he, you know, he only had one leg, so he had a good yes. leg. He went ahead and tried to make a play. I think, I think initially he thought about throwing it away here. You see him kind of look over the sidelines. And then he spots Busher down there. Who did a really good job of coming back to the football. I was just going to say that, yep. Mark. He really helped his quarterback out there. But 22-yard pickup for a pantry pride first down. Great play by Hess. It was. Run a 26. Handoff Meyer. And he picks up another couple harder yards to the 24. You know, how demoralizing is it, I think, for the Cardinals? You know, you got him in the grasp. And you think he's throwing the football away, perhaps, and then Busher makes a great play on a good pass. Well, we talked about it. You know, these big games, your big players, they, they got to make those big plays. Hess just made one, made uh, what I would consider to be one of the plays of the game thus far, for sure. That was and, a th and Busher yeah. coming back to coming help back him out. Coming back to get it, yep. That was actually a three-yard pickup. It's second and seven. Has to throw, and not this time. First guy to get to him was Zeller, and they sack him in the backfield this time. Well, one guy couldn't sack him by himself, so they brought three. He brought a couple of his buddies back here with him and uh, was able to get Hess to, to finally uh, go down. It goes all the way back to the 38-yard line, so he lost 15 with that one. Yeah, he got pretty twisted up there, too. He may just want to go down at some point sometimes. So third and a whole bunch. They need to get uh, the football to the 16-yard line. They're on the 38. That was big for New Bremen. It was. Here's has to throw again. This time he's going to run. And darts outside, back to the middle. He gets inside the 30, but well short of the first down. Well, Mark, I, I think this is four down territory yeah, here. You're inside probably. the 30. Yep. It's a little too long for a field goal, most likely. You can't really punt it from here, so uh, it, it's a manageable situation. Hess just navigates the defense here and picks up just enough so the, you're about 12 yards away from a first down. You have an opportunity at least to yep. go for it. He is inside the 29-yard line. Again, they need to get to about the 16 as we're under four minutes to go. Coach Goodwin's waiting a long time. I'm going to bet this play clock runs down and we get a timeout. Coach Goodwin has used one timeout here in the opening half. Did that back with 7.06 to go in the first quarter. And there it is right there. 3.39 to go before halftime. Timeout, Marion Local. You're watching high school football on WOSF. Home Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, member of the Wayne Insurance Group with two locations to serve you in Chickasaw and in Versailles, has been sponsoring our instant replays this evening. Coach Tim Goodwin takes his second timeout of this particular half. And he is looking at a, uh, well, it says fourth and 13 on the scoreboard. So we'll go with that one from the 29-yard line. His kicker, Carson Bills, has made one field goal this year. That was from 32 yards. So 
probably outside his range right now because it would be in the area of 40 plus to make this kick and so it looks like they're going to go for it. Hess, Meyer in the backfield, trips left. Hess will roll left. Look, look, and just throw it towards the end zone and battle in the end zone and team is up there to knock it away and it will fall incomplete. And New Bremen holds and with 3.32 to go, they will get a chance to get on the board. Well, this, I, li I, li I like that strategy, Mark, because yeah. he throws it in there, a chance for a touchdown or an incompletion. If it's incomplete, then uh, New Bremen gets a the football there. But even if it's intercepted, right, they bring it out to the 20 in the end zone. So it's about an eight-yard swing max, plus or minus, on that play. I like it. Well, this is a huge drive for New Bremen. First of all, because they need to get points on the board. But second, they get to the football first in half number two and a chance to put back-to-back -back scores on. They can get something going, but that's not easy to do. Holman looks, throws it deep. He's got a guy got out a here. Yes, he does as he puts it right into the hands of number 23, Ben Saylor. Marion Local is in a cover two, two deep zone safeties, and uh, he just found the seam. He's right in between the two of them. Holman does a good job here of occupying the rest of the guys. And then when he gets a chance, he throws the football, and you can see the receiver yeah, is right between the two zone deep. There's Schaefer, and he's going to get close to the 30. That was a, uh, what, 36-yard pickup on the pass completion. Well, now it changes kind of what your play calls can be. You're down to about three minutes here. And before, I thought, you know, they're going to have to be in a little bit of a hurry up and be more aggressive. Now they got a little bit of, you know, the, the playbook opens up a little bit because you're, you're down about the 30-yard line. you got three minutes to work with. Four-yard pickup. It's second and six. They do have a single timeout remaining. Just Chris Smith and, Smith and the Cardinals. Holman looks, pressured, throws it up. And did he catch it? Had a battle for the football down there. You can see that Zeller went up to get it. And I think he was battling out there with Busher. No, it was number three, not number five, Carter Jones. Yeah, and he does a really good job here of using his body. You can see him seal off the Marion local defender there. Almost makes the catch. That he did. A lot of trust by Holman to throw that out there. He was well covered. Third and six. Short pass over the middle, and that one's caught. I think he found the same guy he found earlier in Sailor. Yeah, that's number no, 25. It was that's 25, Bombauer. Bombauer. I think Bombauer came from that little slot yeah. position just off the tight end's 16-yard pickup, Pantry Pride first down. They're inside the match seated in the cooling red zone. Schaefer, and he plows forward and finally has to be wrestled down as he gets to about the 12. Man, you could see a hole open up there. I thought if he'd put his foot in the ground, turned that upfield, there was a little bit of a hole. Mm, didn't pick up as much as I thought, just no. a yard to the 14. Second down and nine, two and a half to go. Boy, this is a huge drive. Two big plays on the pass. See if they throw it here. Holman rolls, rolls, keeps go. looking, and has to throw it. Is it picked off? Uh, he may be out of bounds. He's, he's out close. of bounds. Hess grabbed it as the inbounds are out. I think they called him out, didn't they? Yeah, there's. you see the referee signaling for yep. third down there. I thought David Holman uh, probably should have thrown that away. He was trying to. I, I feel like he was waiting for the running back to kind of run that wheel route here. You see, you see number one in the back, and he's like kind of like motioning there, go deeper, go deeper. That's a good call. Hess was out yeah. of bounds with the catch. Absolutely. Third and nine. David Holman. Quick snap pass. Oh, it's broken up. Same guy who made the play a moment ago, Carter Jones. Really good read by Carter Jones. They just released a tight end on the left side, just a little kind of an inside drag there. A little blitz action coming, and boy, he made a nice play yes, on the football. Yes, he did. He read it, stepped in front of it, knocked the football away. And are we looking at a three attempt? Has that look to it, doesn't it? Number 28 is the kicker. That is Hunter Schaefer. 
He's 15 of 17 on PATs. He has missed his only field goal attempt of the year. This will be a 30-yarder. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised by this decision, Mark. You're down three scores. And what do we got? We have a New Bremen timeout. They will take their final break here in the opening half. Our break also. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Tonight's Marion Local premier sponsor is OPAC. For all your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs, call OPAC. So we have a field goal attempt. It looks like it's going to be from about the 21-yard line. I thought perhaps the timeout they were going to change their their mind actually going to put it down on the, we'll call it the 21-yard line. Kicker is Hunter Schaefer. Two thirteen to go here in quarter number two. Here's the kick. It is up and it is. Boy, he made that one with plenty to spare. The Cardinals are on the board. They trail 22-3, but they're on the board. Let's see what happens when Flyers get the ball next. You're watching high school football on WSN. Tonight's uh, first down sponsor is Pantry Pride. Pantry Pride means best quality meats, best value for your dollar, and best service you can count on. Cardinals are on the, on the board now. They trail 22-3. They started on their own 29-yard line. Had a big completion in there before the Flyer defense stiffened. Yeah, in about a minute and a half, they moved the ball pretty much they down did. the field, and then they just kind of stalled there at the end. So they got to feel good about that, good success in, on that particular drive. Same guy will kick off here, this is Schaefer again. And he hammered that one. That's a nice kick. Yeah, the, Laws gets it. At the two-yard line. And he is on the move. Look out. Drew Laws, look out. He he's, might break this one. He's got he's room got to blockers. Look out, and they finally uh, get him. What a great kickoff return. And the Flyers are in business again. All the way down to the, let's see where they put the football down at about the 32 yard line. Yeah, and I thought, uh, you know, I just thought Marion Local would be content to uh, see what they can do and, and be happy to go into the locker room with 22 points on the board. But now that changes everything. They got the ball about the 31 yard line. And they still have a timeout remaining with 158 to go and they're on the 32 yard line plenty already. Plenty of time, yep. plenty of time. Hess and Darren Meyer, Tate Hess, Darren Meyer in the backfield. Adi goes in motion. Hess looks, looks, chased him from behind, throw it towards the end zone and overthrows everybody. It goes incomplete. That's a foul to turn up the law, incomplete. Yeah, it looked like uh, law, uh, yeah. Number 34 out there, yeah, Drew Loss, Drew Loss was yeah. out there. He was double covered. I think Hess just threw that football away. That's a good look at Drew right there. Six foot, 180 pound sophomore. With some wheels we just saw a moment ago. Absolutely, you know there's a lot of six foot, 180 pounders <laughs> in Marion Local, you know that? I mean, it seems like there's just one after the other and uh, they all do what they do very well. It's kind of fun to see that. Two receivers go to their left. Hess will roll right and run the football. Steps forward and gets inside the 25-yard line on that run. They use it. And then Marion Local will take their final timeout. And we're going to keep it right here. Let's talk about the upcoming schedule for these two teams. Let's see if we can get them on the scoreboard here. Yeah. Here's New Bremen's schedule. Fort Recovery and St. Henry, Coldwater coming up over the next three weeks. We will be in Versailles next week. Are you going to have Versailles next week? I'm not sure. but I uh, think you and I go to Versailles next week to Whole Field. It's always my privilege uh, to work it, a game it, with it you, is, Mr. Shine. Whole Field is one of my favorite places. They've, uh, I don't know what the proper term is, upgraded it over the years. I used to like the, uh, the old field to the place, but it's a wonderful uh, high school football area, and we'll be down there. I think you and I go there next week. You know, you look at both of those schedules, though, and, you know, games, there are no easy games in the MAC. You know, it's like every week yeah. you've got another opponent that's going to be just a tough, great football team, and, you know, it's, it's, it's really fun to watch. 
to the 24-yard line was the run, so it is third and two. The Flyers are now out of timeouts, as are the Cardinals. But still, plenty of time. There is. First down would stop the clock, of course. Here's Meyer. Tripped up and still falls forward. He has such a strong low center of gravity that he's able to run for that pantry pride first down and get into the mass heating and cooling red zone. Well, all importantly, they get that first down, stops the clock while they move the chains. Now the clock's running again, 139 and counting. To the 18-yard line. I think you got to throw the football a little bit here to uh, Adi's the quarterback. Stop the clock if you need to. He can throw. He can, and he's going to fake a handoff, throws it to the end zone, and the fall incomplete in the end zone. Well, he's thrown two balls tonight. One of them was picked, and that one probably should have been picked. At a new Bremen safety, was able to get both hands on, just wasn't able to pull it in. You can see he was trying to get the ball to Nathan Busher, it looked like. Yeah. Second down, now to 115 on the clock from the 18-yard line. Well, but that's the thing. With, the, uh, with throwing the football, you're either going to have a real good gain with good success or you're going to have a stop clock, and either one of them is positive. Play clock is already down to 10. They're going to have to motivate to get this one off. They don't have any timeouts left. Trips are going to go left. Four. And they get it off. S keeps. And not any room for him to run that time. Tackle was by number uh, 57. That's Kenning. Kenning. And the clock continues to run it here. It does. Marion Local does not seem to be really in much of a hurry here. Just a yard. Third and nine. Hess is back at quarterback, and we'll look and look and throw it to the end zone. And missed his man, tried to get the Audi in the end zone. It falls incomplete. Yeah, just a little crossing routes on that side. Audi goes to the outside. Hess puts it out there. And, and that's where you want to put it. If you're going to miss, you want to miss deep, and you want to miss towards the sideline because the defenders are always short yeah. and on the inside of the field. So Here comes Carson Bills. He has a 32-yard field goal on the season. With 43 seconds to go, that will make this one about 34 yards. For the sophomore 150-pound kicker. Let's give some credit there to Carter Jones. And that's holder. got plenty of leg on it. Oh, my. And that is a wonderful kick and matches the one we saw just a moment ago from Schaefer. Yeah, both of these kickers are kicking the footballs into the parking lot. We almost hit the, hit the highway out there a moment ago. So it goes to 25-3. to three. That was a 34-yard field goal. You know, you, you think of Mary Local, you know, you think of great defense. You, you think of guys who can run the football. You always have a solid quarterback, and they always find a guy who can kick field goals. You well, know? you're right. Uh, you know, a couple years ago they had That's a right. lineman who kicked the field goals and, and, and PATs, and, that's yeah. such a critical part you know, of the game. His name was Partington, right. and we were at the truck after the game, and a man came up, and he said, a very big smile on his face, and he says, I'm, I'm the kicker's grandfather. <laughs> and he was such a happy man that, that night and uh, really enjoyed uh, having a chance to share that with him. Either way, it is 25-3, to three, and they got the three points back with just 36 seconds to go for New Bremen to well, have one final opportunity. And, 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 you know, when you look at, like, uh, the scoring leaders in the MAC, a lot of times it's a kicker who's in the top ten, somebody that can kick a few field goals here and there, and their team scoring a lot of points or kicking PATs. Here is Carson Bills to do the kickoff duties. Wondering if he'll kick it deep or just kind of bounce it down the middle of the field. Cardinals have no timeouts left. And he kicks that one deep. And it bounces around, and here comes Alwick. And he gets up to the 30, not quite to the 30, looks like. Fearless. He Run ran right down. into that pack as like he was a like he was at the bowling alley. He was gonna knock them all down and keep going, but uh, see where this one goes. 27, is that where we're at? There it is, down on the 27 yard line. No timeouts left, and just half a minute to go before halftime. The band show coming up. Yeah, I think you just would be conservative here. If you get something, you get something. But I, I don't think you want to 
deep in your own territory, make a mistake here that will cost yeah. you more points. Holman will run with it. And not much room to run this time as Aiden Eifert brings him down. Holman taken down by Aiden Eifert. You want to know an Aiden Eifert st stat? He's the punter. Did you know that? He never punts. He's punted eight times on the season, and four of those were in the opening game. In the last three and a half football games, he's punted the ball four times. That's how efficient their offense has been. And that offense, plus a very solid defensive effort, will take Marion Local to the break with a 25 to three lead. Halftime coming up, we're back in a moment. You're watching High School Football on WSN. We're back at Booster Field here at Marion Local. We're going to talk to you about our John Reed Leadership Award. We're now accepting nominations for the John Reed Leadership Award. Nominate coaches who exemplify Christian character, humility, discipline, mentorship, leadership, commitment to others, and excellence on the field. Nominations can be made at WSN.TV backslash John Reed. You know, we had an assistant coach from New Bremen, Chad Williams, won it a couple of years ago, 2020. Tim Goodwin won it back in 2014. And a lot of some really cool people who have been uh, winners of the John Reed Leadership Award throughout the history of that particular award. Well, and so many good characteristics. Oh, and, and you know, we, really, when you talk about both of these communities, New Bremen, Marion Local, you know, in general, they exemplify those characteristics. Exactly. You know, wholesale, yep. just great, great communities, hardworking people that have a great work ethic. Well-behaved kids, you know, it's just fun yeah. to come down here and, and see football. Well, uh, Scott, not only do I want to point out those two names, but you can be a head coach like Coach Goodwin. You can be an assistant coach like Coach Williams. So right. uh, it, it can be anybody within your school uh, program who has a positive influence in that way. And here was our second half kickoff, and this will be by the guy who kicked the field goal a moment ago, Carson Bills. His field goal pushed the lead back to 25 to 3. You know, I think if, if you're going to be a kicker or a punter for Marion Local, you get a whole lot more action if you're the kicker, right? <laughs> get to kick off. Yeah. And that ball is going to sail down and hop around. Is it going to stay in bounds? Wow. It did not. He missed it by a yard, didn't he? No, nah, he sure did. Boy, that was risky there. Uh, how about he teaming, though? Yeah, teaming, teaming uh, you know, is. Sat there and looked at it and studied it, and studied it. The, the junior wide receiver let it go out of bounds. Good for him because his team will get the football now at the 35-yard line. And I think he ought to be a math major when he goes to college, <laughs> judging those angles. We can see what Coach Schmidt came up with at the halftime break. So we'll get the ball in the 35-yard line. David Holman's his quarterback. He wears number five. Hunter Schaefer wears number 28. Has done the majority of his running back duties this evening, and they are in the backfield together. Here's Holman's going to roll left and snap throw. Caught and tackled immediately. The tackle was made on Dylan Bombauer after a very short game. Yeah, number six, Ryan Holman over there. Excellent fundamental tackle. Got low, yeah, they're used go his shoulder. Hurry up to the 37-yard line to go. They're going to play hurry-up football. Holman rolls right. Throws it out again, and that one's knocked away. That's Tate Hess making the play on a pass that was intended for Aaron Tiemann. Again, just great fundamentals right there. Hess was in perfect position, inside position. And you can see in this replay, he just reaches out with his right arm, bats the football down to the ground. Excellent job, good fundamental defense. And did so without going through the offensive player and getting a P.I. Here we go at third and a seven already, almost third and eight. It's a lengthy seven. Here's Holman to throw. Lost it out, and he missed Schaefer. Wow, right idea. Yeah, it was. I like the idea a lot. Schaefer had plenty of room there if he could have just pulled that in. Holman tried to put a little touch on it. So, well, they went hurry up. And yes, they did, and they had the football for 30 seconds. Got right to the punt. Yeah. So Zeller will head back to punt. Adi goes deep along with Busher. Those guys are dangerous back there. You know, you just feel like feel like sooner or later they're going to break it. Oh, it's a fake punt. It's a fake First punt. Down. Yes, sir. He throws it out to Holman. Holman's got room to run. And up the sideline he goes. He it's might be gone. No, oh, he got him knocked out of bounds. A fake punt, and they get a big play. I love it. Yes, you know, sir. What, what do you got to lose at this point? Uh, if, you're, if you're the New Bremen Cardinals, Coach Schmidt calls the fake punt. 25 to 3. 
deep in your own territory. And all really. the way down to the 16-yard line on the pass completion. Yeah, they did a nice job of selling it, too. Holman slips out. He's the only one in this area. Has about 20 yards before anybody even comes close. I love it. There's Holman's going to run left this time. Steps into the tackle position. Still has the football, and it's going to get knocked out of bounds. 47-yard pickup on the fake punt. Looked like Travis Kelsey last night with the uh, in the NFL. Got a body slam there at about the uh, seven, eight yard line. Ball goes to the nine yard line. That's a seven yard pickup. Freeman going hurry up here with a little tempo. Quick pass over the middle and is it caught? No, it falls incomplete. And we'll go to third down. Yeah, I think number 28, Drew Seitz got a hand on that football just enough to kind of throw it off there. Yeah. We're, in the match, wiggle. we're in the match hitting and cooling red zone. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to Matt's, call Heating.com to schedule your free estimate. Third down, and they need three for a first down. They're nine yards from picking up six more points. And pass is thrown to the end zone. Got it's him. caught. He finds Grant Dickey in the end zone. That's Dickey's second touchdown catch of the season. His third catch overall. And a nine-yard touchdown pass for New Bremen coming out of the to shoot to start the second half. What a great way to start the second half. They come out, they get the kick that goes out of bounds, they run a fake punt, now they get it the into the end zone quickly and bring this game back to a game now. Here's Schaefer's attempt to cut the lead to 15. And it's blocked. Flyers come up the middle, knock that one down. It'll stay at 25-9, but Bremen's on the board. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Our instant replays tonight are sponsored by Holman Insurance, your trusted local insurance specialist, member of the Wayne Insurance Group, with two locations to serve you in Chickasaw and in Versailles. Some life for the new Bremen Cardinals. They've cut the lead now to 25-9. Well, I like it. They came out with a sense of urgency that yes, series, and, and, and it didn't work out that great the first few downs. But once they uh, converted that fake punt, 75 or 65 yards, seven plays took 56 seconds to get on the board. And here, this kick is going to head to the. I thought it was headed to the end zone. They didn't quite get there. Look out! This is Busher up the sideline. It's not Busher, is it? Body. That was Wallace. Yeah, that's that's who it was. Wallace. I was going to say, I couldn't catch a number on it. Had the football covered up his jersey number. and Drew Lyles. Yeah. Good run back for him. I like how he uh, protects the football when he runs as well. Flyers are going to get the ball all the way out to their own 46-yard line. You know, it's pretty impressive when you watch high school kickoffs that are being, you know, kicked yeah. down to the goal line. My, my initial reaction was headed to the end zone. He snagged it right around the two or three. And here is Tate Hess and his running back, Darren Meyer. Meyer shifts to his left hip. Here's Laws again. Oh, what a tackle. Coming out of absolute nowhere is number 56. And that is Evan Mike, 6'2", 215-pound senior linebacker. What a hit he made. Well, he read this play all the way. I, Marion Local ran this a couple times in the first half. And they were somewhat successful with it. That time, no success. A three-yard loss. It would be safe to say New Bremen has come out with some fire here in the first couple minutes of half number two. They're not going to go down easy. Uh, Zadi in motion. Hess keeps it. Throws. Busher, first down and more. Busher up the sideline. Mark, I really like that play. When you roll Hess out like that to the receiver's side, you shorten that pass, you create a nice angle to throw the football. It's a high degree of success, a really good play. Pickups, picks up plenty for the first down. Really good throw and catch. Pantry pride, first down of 19 yards. I like Busher. To the 38 yard line, he's got great hands, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He immediately converts from the catch to becoming a running threat very quickly. This is Meyer running to the right side of the formation and not much room for him this time. Perhaps a yard to the 37. 
Yeah, I like a little misdirection there. They're bringing Laos in motion again. New Bremen there to read it. Second down and nine from the 37 of New Bremen. This is Busher bringing the play in from the sideline. Nathan Busher, 5'11", 170 pound senior wide out, kick returner. Yeah, it looks like New Bremen's gone man to man on the outside now with their defensive backs, a single, single deep back. Adi's in the quarterback position. He's gonna hand off to Hess on the end around. Hess makes one guy miss, but not the second one. There's Holman making a tackle again. Yeah, just a great job of discipline by the New Bremen defense. Staying at home, keeping with their responsibilities, and on the reverse, Hess had nowhere to go with it. Holman makes a great tackle. Again, a tackle for loss. Back to the 38-yard line, the original line of scrimmage, so it's third and 10. Holman's got speed. Yeah, he does. He was a second team All-Mac defensive player a year ago, as well as being the offensive player of the year. Showed you why on that move. Two receivers will go right. That's some pretty good hardware for a junior. It has to throw. Good protection, clean pocket, throwing it towards the end zone and incomplete the end zone. I think Coleman has as good a shot as anybody. I'm surprised he didn't pull that ball down. So we'll go to fourth and 10. From the 38-yard line, here's another look at it on our home and insurance replay. Hess threw a nice ball. Just obviously a little overthrown there. Holman's back there. Playing free safety, it's punt time. Hey, you got your best. Eifert, yeah. You got your. His your, ninth you, punt of the season, and that's going to hit and check up. Did they stop it? What a wow. play. Special teams play, outstanding. Mark, that looks just like my lob wedge <laughs> on the golf course. Uh, or at least in my mind, yeah, that's what I want it to look like. Yeah, that's what you want it to look yes. like. It never does that, But you though. know what? Eifert kicks the ball about 37 yards. His team does a super job of getting down there, and they have put New Bremen in a hole back to the one-yard line. Yeah, you couldn't ask the punter to do a better job right there. The average is 37.6. That's about what he did that time. Here's New Bremen deep in their own territory. Holman's just going to run it, try to get a little bit of room. He's got more than a little bit of room as he gets still going. There's Holman up the sideline. There's a face mask as well. You're right, Scott. So a good Holman run and a penalty on top of it. Yeah, it's going to bring it out to about the 40-yard line, I think, depending on where uh, where they uh, call the foul. They've called it right about the uh, 27. There's the face mask you saw right there. And Holman had to be tackled by Seitz. Yeah, he was tackled at the uh, 23. Looking to see where the penalty ends up putting the football down at. And I think it's uh, safe to say that Coach Schmidt got some young men's attention at halftime, and they have come out with some energy. 15 yards on top of the run that Holman put together. How far out are we going to be? Where are we headed to the... Yeah, I think it's going to be uh, pretty close yeah. to the 40-yard line, as I mentioned. Yeah, 39-yard line. It is. Good call, Scott. So all the way from their own one-yard line, the run plus the penalty gives them 38 yards to the 39. The referee's been busy tonight. Yeah. Holman's going to roll right. Look downfield. Big arm. He's got Zeller out here. And a fight for the football is picked off as we're out of bounds. It's called out of bounds. Wow, we got the officials yeah. conflicting. The side judge says he's out of bounds. The back judge had had uh, was pointing the other Correct. way as a reversal. Carter Jones at 5'9", was battling with Hayler, Hayden Zeller at 6'5". Yeah, now they overturn it. They'd say yeah. he was out of bounds. But you might see it here in the picture. Great defensive effort here. Ball was a little underthrown. Well, it was very close. and. Didn't quite get the look at it that we would have liked to have had with our camera action. Either yes. way, it was back to the second and 10 from the 39. A bit of a break for New Bremen. Oh, it was. How about the play, though? 5-9 versus 6-5. Here's Holman again. And throws it deep again. And this one will fall incomplete. Teeman was the closest guy to it. He and Hess. So we'll go to third and 10. Interesting, you take two deep shots in a row like that. 
Holman's got an arm. He does, doesn't he? Yes, yep. he does. David Holman listed at six foot one sixty-seven. He seems a bigger body than that. See him up close and personal. Here's third and ten. Teeman goes in motion. You got Hayden Zeller out here by himself again. And Coming across the middle. Same guy playing a little one-on-one -on -one with him, Carter Jones, and it will fall incomplete for the third consecutive time. And it's fourth down from the 39. Yeah, good inside coverage there by Carter Jones. So Mary Local defense stiffens. Last time that Dubrim was in this position, they went fake punt. Well, it's interesting. They took three deep shots, Mark, on that series. Uh -huh. Zeller, who's just run some deep patterns three consecutive times, now has to go back and punt with perhaps a little bit of a winded leg. I wouldn't know it by that punt, though, would you? Adi steps up to catch it. And Adi will be wrestled down immediately by Kenning. Nolan Kenning, number 57, 5'11", 239 pound junior. Hey, local went five plays and punted their first possession of this half and with 7.52 to go, they will take over on their own 30 yard line this time. Saw Mason Rose in the huddle. Did you see that? He's the center. Number 77. He was getting on his teammates. Like, fellas, it is time to, to move some mountains up front. I like it when seniors take a leadership role like he just did. Well, we talked about that, Mark, at the beginning of the game leadership. It usually comes from your seniors. And, you know, there are critical moments in the game where you either let up or you accelerate. Adi will roll right and then stop the throw. He's going to throw it deep. Two defenders out there trying to get Hess, and that will fall incomplete. Earlier in the season, game number one, Hess comes up a little bit gimpy. Earlier in the season, they completed that against, I believe it was Marion Local. At that time, was well defended by New Bremen. Yeah, Hess is uh, struggling a little bit, coming back to the huddle there. A little bit hitching his giddy up in there. Yeah. They've been throwing the football around here. We've still got 7.45 to go here in quarter number three There's a lot of clock stoppage with incompleted passes well and again Hess is one of those guys you know he plays both ways plays special teams he's running the football he's receiving the football a lot of work yeah. on a pretty humid night he will hand off to the second guy through this time with nowhere to run and on the bottom of the pile is Meyer it looked like for Marion local too. Evan I in there again number 56 with the tackle Lost a yard, third and 11. It's a 16 point game. And I, I think if you're New Bremen, you gotta feel good about this now. If they, can, if they can hold here and get the football back and maybe put together a score, now you've really got some pressure on Marion Local. Hessen Meyer in the backfield. The receivers go two by two this time. Hess rolls, pitch Meyer. And he will be tackled as he get over the 35-yard line, but short of the first down. Yeah, I like the play call, though. I, I really like that play call. To the wide side of the field, you got two options. A quarterback can keep it, turn up field, or he can pitch it if the uh, defensive player commits to him. Got about six, but they're going to be four short. And back into punt formation goes Eifert again. And this time we'll see if he unloads one. Holman's deep. And that's a good kick. Holman and Tiemann. Tiemann catches it over his shoulder and makes the first guy miss, but not the second. Good punt, good coverage. Well, if he's not playing outfield on the baseball team, he probably should have. That was a nice over-the-shoulder catch. But there's your guy punting the football again. Excellent yeah. punt, excellent punt. A lot of height. Football's on the 20-yard line. So the punt was, uh, what, about 14 and 20, about 36, 37 yards again for that particular punt. Consistent. Yep. New Bremen, third possession of the half. They scored on the first one. Here's Schaefer. Boy, a big collision right at the 25-yard line after he picked up five. Well, Mark, you got to think that they want to get Schaefer going a little bit here. You know, he's one of the leading rushers in the MAC. came into the game. Uh, with 301 yards, averaging seven and a half yards a carry, and, has and he really hasn't been get, get, got, it, got it really going much tonight. Yeah, Landon Arling made that hit. Holman's going to run off the left side and fights for the first down and has it. 
That will be a pantry pride first down. Well, they move the chains. They're going to hurry up again as they get to the 31 yard line. Pickup of six. Trips go right. Single receiver left for Holman. And he will roll right. Pressured, pressured, and throws it. He's got a guy out here. He does. In the area, anyway, was Bombauer, but it will fall incomplete. And I think there's a good no call there. Second yeah. down from 31. Holman's pass is complete. You know, they've had a rule change this year on those uh, grounding the football. If they're outside the tackle box and it's thrown beyond the line, it's illegal now, even if there's no receiver there. But there was a receiver in the area. Holman rolls right, throw, caught. Right in front of the Marion local bench. Who was the person who caught the football? Number Looks 13, like, uh, that was 13. Dylan Kramer. Dylan Kramer, correct. Six foot, 177 pounds, senior, making plays. Yep. Pantry Pride first down to the 44-yard line on that 13-yard pickup. And again, there's a there's an example. They, they moved Holman to the right, shortened that pass a little bit, high degree of success. This time Holman will row left. Snap throw. He tried to squeeze it in to uh, Grant Dickey, but it was knocked away from behind by Busher. Yeah, that was Patrick Mahomes style there yeah. with a little sidearm, a little shortstop flip. You see him rolling to his left here, and he kind of sidearms it, puts it right in a really pretty good position. Had an opportunity to catch it, just great coverage there by number five. Busher knocked it away without, without the P.I. That was a good play for him. Two receivers to the left on second down and ten. Holman throws with a guy in his face. Zeller catches and breaks the first tackle, but not to tackle the next two guys. It'll be interesting to see where they mark this football. Yeah. Uh -huh. He had about five more yards, but he came back to try to make the play. Lost a couple yards in that. Well, they did give him three to the 47. About to tackle again. How many times has Arlen been around the football today? Almost had a sack right there. Here we go, third and seven. Holman back to throw again. Right over the middle, it's thrown. He tried it to find number 25, Bombauer, and well, we got a flag late. Yeah, Bombauer's down. He got hit pretty hard there. He is, while they deal with the injured player, we're going to take a timeout. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Our touchdown side are sponsored by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen. They bring family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. The penalty was for a hit to the head as the receiver was headed to the ground. So we're going to get a first down on the 37-yard line. Holman snaps it out. Teeman catches that one, and he can't go very far. Might have lost a yard even. Yeah, Coach Tim Goodwin did not like that penalty call at all. He was out on the field, uh, got a little vocal about it, and they gave uh, the whole Marion local a sideline warning during that timeout. Yes, they did. Here's the rollout and the pay Little dump pass out to the sideline, and you see the quick tackle by Hess. Second down. Handoff, Schaefer, counter. What a play. Good tackle by Nick Ranley in the middle of the field that time. Well, you know, sometimes uh, when you have a team like this, Marion Local, and you, and you see the coach get fired uh, up, you know, that can really inject some adrenaline into your, into your play. And Marion Loco has responded with two straight plays here. Excellent defense. Two consecutive no gain plays. It's third and 10 from the 37. Holman's got Schaefer on his left hip. Two receivers to his left, single receiver to the right. Flyers blitz. Here they come. And he has to throw it off his back foot. And it's picked off. The climbing the ladder is Ryan Holman. Yep, they're going to give it to him this time. I thought he might have been out of bounds. So we're going to get, is that the, oh, we got a flag down. Let's see what this one's all about. This is back at the right with the line of scrimmage. And it will be, what's the call, Scott? Holding? It is, and it goes against New Bremen. So that will be declined in the, that's the third turnover? Yep. 
Third turnover of the game, here we go. Yeah, and they immediately threw the flag in the background. Great job on the interception there. Well, you see he had to kind of throw it off his back foot with the, the blitz pressure that was coming, and well, you leave the ball up in the air very long for the Flyers, and they go get it. Well, and he's done that a couple times yeah. tonight. You know, my feeling is is that he's got receivers out there who are pretty talented, and, and he's trusting those receivers to go up and fight and win the battle to get that football. The problem is Marion Local's got some pretty tough defenders back there, and they're winning that battle in some cases. Marion Local has been a couple of possessions that ended in punts. This is their third possession of the half, and they will get the football on their own 18-yard line. This is Meyer, Darren cutback run. Good run for him before he's brought down by Kramer. Yeah, great vision. He starts to the right, sees a big giant hole on the left. You see. Cuts it back, gets a first down. That's doing a good job as he helps up Baumbauer. That is a pantry pride first down as he gets exactly what he needed to the 28-yard line, picked up 10. Yeah, Dylan Kramer on the tackle again. Best run he's had in a while. Dan Bauer has to head to the sideline, a little shaken up. Eye formation this time. Up back is Meyer, and he gets snowed under right at the line of scrimmage. Meyer chopping no game. Have an eye on the Would you like to think that uh, the Coach Goodwin, well, he picked up a yard that time, would like to have a Marion local drive? You know, one of those 12 plays, five-minute drives, seven-minute drives? Yeah, he'd like this drive to yeah. go into the fourth quarter for sure. Put points on the board and solidify things a bit. Of course, Bremen trying to do just the opposite. They want another punt and get the football back. Their offense has been moving pretty well in this half. Second and nine. Two receivers right. This is Adi in motion. Hess, Snow, that ball's tipped, and he couldn't get it to Holman. Yeah, it looked like it might have been tipped by Hayden Zeller, number 83 out there at left end. Very active man, young man, isn't he? Yeah, Offensive he did. He got a hand up there. Man. Yeah. Listed at 6'5", is, is Hayden Zeller. Whoever, whoever was in man coverage on Adi on that uh, motion kind of abandoned that early. I would have liked to have seen Hess turn and throw back to Adi. He had a whole half of the field to work with. Is that proper to say that, the whole half? The whole half. The whole half? Sounds okay. Okay. It's a math term. Okay. Third and nine. Yes, looks, looks. Meyer on the wheel routes, got him out here, and he caught it. Did he stay in bounds? Wow. He did not. He caught it out of bounds. What a great catch, though. It was. Well, I wonder if the uh, play caller, whoever's up in the box, saw the same thing I saw in that last play. Well, they call this play with uh, and with Adi on a wheel route yeah, out was, there. I thought it was 24. It was 25. It was Adi, and he makes the catch, and, of course, with all the – Blue shirts in the way. We couldn't see exactly where his feet came down at. But we know Eifert gets a high punt away. And fair catch, Holman. Yeah, they want roughing. Yeah. We're on the Marion local side in the press box, and you, you can hear them outside the window here. So Marion local will send their defense back out on the field. Bremen has moved the football, scored the first time they had it. And they've been punt and INT. They will take over on their 37-yard line. 2.04 to go here in the quarter. Schaefer looking for somewhere to run. And nowhere there's a flag down, though. Mostly because everybody in the uh, reserve section from Mary Local threw flags. As you mentioned, we're on their side of the field. See that somebody grabbed Eifert in there. Had him by the face mask. Yep. Mark, there has been an exceptional amount of penalties tonight, more than I can remember. Well, it has you been know. part of the New Bremen modus operandi all year, and they, uh, they have certainly been flagged, but so have the Flyers tonight. Back to the 25-yard line we go. From the original line of scrimmage, it's a 12-yard loss. First and 22. This is Holman's going to run left, steps through a tackler, up, got good run for Holman's. He's going to get a good chunk of that back. Yeah, he's going to get about 12 or 13 yards there. As he gets to the 
what, to the 37? He did. That is a 12-yard pickup. Yeah, when he gets in the open field, once he gets through that first defensive unit there, he's pretty slippery. I mean, he's got some moves, and, and he kind of slides sideways. Second and 10. Here's Holman's going to roll right this time. And pressured, and down he goes. <laughs> Say hello to Mr. Darren Meyer. Wow, and, and Holman knew it. He was waiting and waiting for that wheel route uh, back out of the backfield to, to get a little distance. He looked like he wanted to float it over top here and just held on to it a, a little bit too long. All of a sudden, there you go. That's why you Darren Meyer was Defensive Player of the Year in the MAC for his junior season. And he closed quick, he didn't he? In a hurry. That was a seven-yard loss all the way back to the 30. So they need about 17 on this one. Look for Zeller. Holman rolls again. Snap throw. Went down to catch it. Let's see what the call is. Teeman's there for the, trying to get the football. They're giving him the catch. And they are. And Teeman. He's a little slow getting up. It looks like uh, that might have been number three, Caleb Keller. I'm not sure. Well, that was an 11-yard pickup, but they needed 17. Went down to his knees. That's a nice catch to go down and get that one. Carter Jones was there to make the tackle. And I think they're going to go for it, Scott. We're down to 23 seconds to go in the quarter. Well, you're down two scores at least with two-point conversion, 16 points. Now they they uh, do not have to run a play should Coach choose to let this clock run down and yeah, think this through because this will take us to the end of quarter number three. Yeah, and I think that's what they're going to do. New Bremen with the only score in the third quarter. They have cut the lead to 25-9. Coming back to the fourth quarter action right after this. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Science Red Zone sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. It's your home in the energy efficient zone. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Mark Shine and Scott Nurse. Is that Tate Hess down? It is. Right at midfield getting a cramp taken care of. It has been a warm, humid night. What well, it has, and we mentioned, there's no wind whatsoever. The flag is still, it's, just, it's still hanging in yeah. the same spot it was when we did the national anthem. And it is very humid out here. You know, you talk about Matt's heating and cooling. I have it too. But uh, they, they uh, you know, trying to figure out, do you cool or do you heat? It's been pretty cool at nights. And, yeah. uh, but tonight, it's a warm one. It's humid. Well, Chris Schmidt has a decision to make. His team is facing a fourth and seven from their own 41-yard line as we start quarter number four. And he appears to be a guy who's going to go for it. What's our officials discussing right here? Well, he knows most likely if he gives the ball back to Marion Local, they're going to run. They're going to run the football and run the clock. So uh, this might be as good an opportunity as they have. We have a holdup while our uh, officiating crew is discussing something with the Marion sideline. I'm not sure exactly what that is. And now we're going to have a little officials caucus at midfield. Well, I'm still not sure what we're discussing right now. Always amazes me. You, you watch well, the, I the, think the, the officials may be hydrating a little bit there. One of the officials may have, uh, yeah, could be. you know, not felt well. I saw a couple of them getting some fluids. You know, they're, they've been doing a lot of running yeah, they tonight. They have too. That is correct. Well, big play. Start quarter number four, fourth and seven. Teeman goes in motion. He's going to try to throw back to Holman, and that's well defended. Teeman looks, 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 throws it downfield. It's caught. I think he found number 23, Ben Saylor, for the first down. How about that play? Yeah, real good decision there because he, oh, they, got, they wanted flag. to. Yeah, we have a flag right at midfield. I wonder if that's uh, somebody got downfield. They did. Yep. That play took so long to develop. One of the linemen got downfield, and we'll have a penalty on that play, and that may well take him to the punt situation. What a play, though, by, by Teeman. Yeah, good decision here. Yep. He wanted to come back to home, and Holman was well covered. Comes back and, and hits Saylor here in the middle. Demon, 5'11", 166-pound junior. But you're right, the lineman yep. probably released, expecting Teeman to throw that first pass to Holman. 
and then anxious to make a play on it. So they get a guy downfield illegally, and that wipes out a, a nice pass and catch that would, would have been a first down. And the football goes back to the 30, about the 36-yard line where it looks like punt time. Zeller's the punter. Kicks it high this time, and fair catch by Bush, who slipped. And he is fortunate it didn't take a big bounce towards the end zone. Yeah, number 57 for New Bremen. Nolan Kennick went down as well. I've had a lot of dew on my grass the last several mornings, Scott. I wonder if it's getting kind of slippery out there with uh, with the condensation on the field. Yeah, it's about that time of night, it right? Is. About, yep. uh, you know, half an hour, hour after dark, it gets a little wet. It gets a little of course, uh, I slick. Did, I did use the term grass. Weeds would be a more uh, <laughs> <laughs> appropriate uh, decision. Now, let's see. They're going to get the ball on their own 23-yard line. Now, Mary Local has had uh, this will be their fourth possession of the half. And they have not done much with the football here in this half. They punted three times, and they want to put a drive together. I formation. Handoff. This is Meyer. Runs through a couple tackles and might have got three. Man, he's tough. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Well, no, no, number five for New Bremen, D David Holman, came up to try to make this tackle, you see, and he got, he got hit. He was a little slow getting up. Yeah, they got the football up to the 29-yard line. A lot of that was on his own particular effort. It's a six-yard pickup, makes it second and four. Blocking back ahead of him is, is uh, Partington. And there's Meyer runs again. And I think you're going to get a heavy dose uh -huh. of, of Meyer and, uh, and the run game right now. They started with this possession right around 11 and a half minutes. Pantry Pride first down. Boy. And I, I think their goal is going to be to run, run this clock as much as possible. Nice tackle, though, by number 25, Dylan Bobbauer. Just short of the 35-yard line. They started this drive with 11.35 to go and on their own a 23-yard line. Let's see how many plays they run off and how much time goes off the clock. Of course, Bremen's crowd the line of scrimmage. Meyer bounces it right side this time. And he is into uh, almost into midfield position and picks up yet another first down. Yeah, and I think it, this is the point in the game where Tim Goodwin says, "Hey, we're just we're we're, we're going to use the clock. We're going to we're going to power." Well, he's through moved, you. He's moved Partington into the his, his fullback position. Really, it's like putting another guard in the backfield and kind of a road grader type, making some space. And then Myers running hard. First down, second first down of this drive to their own 47. In the eye. Toss sweep. Partington gets one hit over midfield, runs through a tackle, runs through another tackle. That's Adi. He's going to be close to a first down. Looks like they're going to give it to him. It is Adi this time. Third consecutive time they picked up a first down, a Pantry Pride first down. And you're absolutely right. Coming out of the backfield, Partington has a nice hit to kind of give Adi the chance to get to the edge here. Adi does a nice job then of cutting back and picking up a couple extra yards, enough for the first down. 11 yard pickup, they get it to the 42 of the Cardinals. This is Meyer. And he gets inside the 40 on a tough run. Five consecu consecutive running plays. Our Emily breakfast with a couple of old football guys every Wednesday. They call this big boy football. Well, it is big boy football. The interesting thing to me, I was just thinking that it, it's amazing to me that Marion Local year after year after year finds people, finds players that play their position very well. Yep. No matter what that is, whether it's a punter or a kicker, or fullback, you see Partington coming in, in here now doing the job, what he's supposed to do. Toss sweep, Adi. Runs through a tackle by one Cardinal and keeps pushing the pile forward. He gets down close to the 35. They need to get to the 32 for a first down, so we're looking at third down. They've just passed three minutes on this particular possession, and this will be play number seven coming up. A lot of 
lot of signals coming in from the sidelines on these last couple plays. Partington, Meyer in the backfield. Pushers in the slot. Here come the Cardinals, here comes Meyer, and this time they get him. Got, a, got back to the, to the line of scrimmage, but now it's fourth down. It's interesting, Marion Local has gone to that power eye formation this entire series, and it's worked pretty well. New Bremen uh, sniffed that one out, though. Now it's going to be fourth and about four. Yeah, they need to get inside the 32-yard line, and they're just outside the 35. This has the, uh, the look of coach is going to let this clock run all the way down and maybe take a timeout to discuss how they want to play it. Play clock is under 10. Yeah, he's going to use all the clock he can use. That he is. There's a timeout. 7.24 in the game. The Flyers are up 16 in possession, but facing a fourth down. You're watching high school football at WSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Only one score here in the second half. That was by New Bremen. Their PAT was blocked. We're at 25-19, and the Flyers are looking at fourth and a long three to maintain possession. Here's Hess is going to roll right. Throws. It's caught. He put the ball right in Nathan Busher's hands, who was all cramped up just a moment ago during the timeout. Yeah, I was going to say, they called a timeout, and during that entire timeout, they had the trainer out there stretching Nate Busher out, both legs, forwards, backwards, sideways, every way he could. And then they come out of the timeout and go right, right to him. He makes a great catch here, enough for the first down, gets out of bounds. Got about 11, and they maintain possession Do the Flyers. And they'll go back to that power eye again with Partington and... Meyer in the backfield. Meyer and strong run inside the 20 to about the 19. Hey, you don't think Busher was getting stretched out on, on the new Bremen side of that huddle uh, just a, during the timeout as, as a decoy, a do you? Decoy they came nah, right to it, no, huh? No, 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 no okay. No. All right. All right, from the 25 yard line. No, 20. <laughs> Inside the 25, they got to the 23, picked up six on first down. Man, if you're going to tackle Meyer, you're going to pay for it. Here we go. Flyers have had the football now for about five minutes. Here's Meyer. And he will get knocked down before he can get to the 15. Man, you got to be impressed with Meyer's uh, you know, his, his uh, ability to not get tired here and to continue to bring it. Actually, he, they did give him the 15, Scott. You're right. Yeah, and I mean, as he, well as he's played defensively, and now he's just lugging the mail. Both sides of the football, he's really been uh, involved in a lot of action. Third and one, Adi came in. I, I wonder if he's going to go to the Wildcat again. Nope, Meyer's going to stay in at quarterback. And what do we got? We have a official's timeout. What is this all about? Hydration break. We're halfway through the quarter. How about that? We're going to take a break, too. You're watching High School Football WSN. <laughs> halfway through the quarter, we took a water break for everybody. It's third and one. Here's Partington. I've been waiting for them to do that. I've been waiting to say, you know what, big fella, you've been blocking so many people. We're going to turn the hand the ball off to you, and Partington runs for a first down. And they are inside the Matt's Heating and Cooling red zone with that Pantry Pride first down. This drive began on their own 23-yard line with 11.39 to go. They are about to take six minutes off the clock. This time Myers the up back with Adi. This is Adi on the toss sweep. Cuts back inside to about the 11. And I think Coach Goodwin is satisfied with that. He's, he's okay with getting two, three, four, five yards of carry. No big plays right now. Just move the football methodically down the field. This is a four down territory, I think, at this point in the game. Here comes uh, Partington back into the football game again, wearing number 36. Of course, he was an offensive lineman earlier in the year with a 62 number, and 
play in the backfield. He switched to 36. You got Partington and Meyer in the backfield. Power eye. Look for Meyer to get it. And he does. He goes off left tackle and bursts into the end zone from 11 yards out. And Mark, that's about a seven minute drive all the way down the field to score, which is, which is kind of classic closeout Marion local football. You are exactly right, Scott. They are nine seconds short of making it a seven, yard, a seven minute drive. 6.51 went off the clock. Here's the PAT attempt by Carson Bills. You know, I'm impressed with that quick math you do with the clock and all, you know? Well, I mean, I'm a social studies U-boat commander. I know a little bit of math. Well, yeah. Low snap, and does he get it through anyway? He does. How about that? How about the way the holder snapped it up off the ground? That was Carter Jones. That makes the kick anyway by Bills. And 32-9 in favor of the Flyers. You're watching high school football on WLS. We're now accepting nominations for the John Reed Leadership Award. Nominated coaches have exemplified Christian character, humility, humility, discipline, mentorship, leadership, commitment to others, and excellence on the field. Nominations can be made at WSN.TV backslash John Reed. Well, Scott, six minutes and 51 seconds, 13 plays, 77 yards, and Darren Meyer has his third touchdown run, this time from 11 yards out. A lot of Darren Meyer, and, and he rose to the occasion. And, and you know, like I said, he's been he's been doing that on both sides of the football. They've been making plays defensively as well. Uh, I mean, he has put in the work tonight. Here's Bills to do the kickoff duties. 4.48 to go. Freeman came out all juiced up in the second half, made a valiant uh, try to get back into football game, but that may well have solidified. Popped it up this time. That ball's going to hit and check up, and it pops out of bounds. Did somebody touch it first? We got a little tiny number six, Marion Local, uh, little kid running out after the kicking tee, doing a great job. We're going to have a little officials meeting. We're going to wave the flag off for kicking it out of bounds. And the football. That's, I think that's a Marion local football. They've got to get a new Bremen football in the game from the far side of the field. You know, Mark, you mentioned they came out with a lot of juice, scored on that first possession New Bremen did. Then they came back in that second possession. They threw on one series three straight deep balls for incompletions. And, Holman and goes down. He's sacked this time. Back to the 35. You're and, right. And Marion Local kind of took it from there. You know, Scott, I've often wondered, you and I are basketball guys in a way. In football, you get to bring your own ball to the game. How come you don't get to bring your own ball to the basketball game? <laughs> Every time you change possessions, we can switch balls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we'd be there for three weeks. We'd be there for a while, <laughs> yeah. You know, a couple years ago, we used to have two two balls uh, that we play with and switch for a while during the COVID period, and then boy, was that yeah, that was delay enough. There's a pass out into the flat and a big hit on Schaefer as he got back to the 30-yard line. So that's a, a no gain to the 30. And we're looking at third and 12. Yeah, he's tackled by three Marion local defenders, and then a fourth one comes in and just gives a little, uh, a little extra parting yeah. time. Give him a yard to the 31. We're under four minutes to go in this one. Two receivers to the top of your screen. Single receiver plus a slot. There goes Schaefer in motion. And over the middle, that ball is caught by Tiemann. Tiemann's on the run. Adi has to bring him down as he gets into flyer territory. You know, Tiemann's played well tonight. I he think has. David Holman has played well also. He's been under duress a lot tonight, throwing the football. He's done a good job, though, of really finding receivers and, and running the football when, it, when the opportunity presents itself. Pantry pride first down to the flyer territory. Snap that one would be up to Tiemann. Tiemann caught another one. That one will also be a first down. Let's see how far they gave him. The pass was thrown from the 47. Looks like a 14-yard pickup to the 33 and another first down. And this is about some pride and a little fight from a good New Bremen football team here. They'd like to put another touchdown on the board if they can. Holman hands off Schaefer, tries to go right side. He gets inside the 35. 
little counter action. And they put the ball right down on you know, we have the 30-yard line. We haven't talked about that Marion local front line there, defensive end, Nick Ranley, Simon Partington at nose tackle, Connor Burns, defensive end. They've done a nice job in the front of containing New Bremen's backfield. Receivers go two by two, quick out on the far side of the field. Be a first down. Yep, catch that time was made by Saylor. And is it a first down? Yes, they do move the sticks on the far side of the field. There's that play again. I'm a big fan of that pass. Just a quick, quick out to the receiver, get them in space, let them see what they can do. Eight yard pickup. And that one's thrown to the end zone and. Touchdown. He caught it. End zone pass to Ben Saylor. TD pass from 22 yards out. Well thrown ball by Holman. I really winning. liked it. Good touch. Nice spiral put it on where the, only the receiver could get it. And Saylor went up and got it. And you can see he made a nice catch over a well defense, defensive play by Nathan Busher. Here's the PAT attempt that will be done by Saylor. That's Saylor's uh, first. Excuse me, that's Hunter, Hunter Schaefer with the PAT. And he slaps it through. And we're looking at a 32-16 game. Favor the Flyers. We have 2.29 to go. You're watching High School Football at WSA. We're back at Marion Local. Speedway Lanes tonight has been our touchdown sponsor. Speedway Lanes in New Bremen brings family and friends together for bowling fun and great food for everyone. That was a 67-yard drive. It took uh, seven plays, took 219 off the clock. Cut well, and that was Ben 60. Saylor's first touchdown ah. of the year, catching the football. Nice job there. You know, when New Bremen watches this film tomorrow, they're really going to kick themselves. I have a feeling, you know, they're, they're down two scores right now. And essentially, there were two turnovers in the first half that really set up Marion Local for a touchdown. Two, two scores, two touchdowns. They had an interception return to the one-yard line. They punched it in. They also had a fumble they recovered inside the 20. It was an easy Here's score. The onside kick, and it's, Holman had a shot oh, at it. Oh, he's, got, he's, he's got, got it. it. Big I, scramble for the football. I think Holman might have been able to pull it in. Initially, he lost the handle, but. Oh, my. He had a chance at it, didn't he? And on the bottom of the pile, looks like Kyle Otte. Wow. That was close. Here's the Holman replay of it. Yeah, Holman did a nice job of getting his hands on it initially there, lost it, and I thought he was able to pull it back in there. And oh, He just fought his way to get to the football, and the Flyers will take over on their own 39. Oh, he's a tough dude. Isn't he, he? You know, he's on the bottom of that pile. You know he's going to come up with it. 5'870 pound to junior. Partington and Meyer in the eye. This is Meyer again. This time he gets over the 40 to the 41. And I think if they get a first down here, it's. New Bremen takes a timeout as they take the ball to the 41 yard line, make it second and eight. That's their first one. Some things you can catch coming up here on WOSN. St. Mary's and Van Wert on Saturday, Coldwater St. Henry, and then Sunday, Bishop Hartley and Lima Central Catholic. Band spectacular coming up. Columbus Grove, St. Henry, New Bremen football next week. And I think I think you and I are in Versailles. I gotta look at my calendar. Lipsick and Grove, that'll be a great football game next week. St. Henry and Minster, that's always a battle. That shows up as well. So lots of stuff coming up in the future. Turn it to WSN, WTLW and yeah, I think that St. Mary's, the St. Mary's Van Wert game would be an interesting game. A lot, of, a lot of passing with Van Wert, a lot of running with St. Mary's. That dichotomy of uh, football. Of course, this is week five. We are now halfway through the high school football season already. When you play three games before Labor Day, that's what happens, Scott. Unbelievable. From the 41 yard line, one would think that New Bremen is going to try to get a stop and make another timeout. Partington, Meyer, blitz coming. This is Meyer, and he runs into a tackle by Saylor and still gets over the 45-yard line. Meyer out to the 45, picked up by Saylor. 
Well, did he call that next time out? I guess he did, didn't he, Scott? He did. Uh, it's going to be third down and about five here. If they can hold, they get the football back with about two minutes to go. An opportunity to maybe uh, maybe put another score on the board and make this thing a little scary. The sports report's underway. It uh, airs, airs every Friday night at uh, 10 p.m., normally with Patrick Kamler. Tonight it's got Jennifer Beck as Patrick Kamler is on assignment this evening. That's on every Friday night at uh, 10 p.m. on TV 44 WTLW. And I think they got a special guest tonight, don't they, well, that, if, he, if he can make it back? That special guest is not going to get back to the <laughs> station by – well, that's a good thing because he was supposed to be on with uh, the very attractive Jennifer Beck and the very handsome young Danny Holbrook, and that the old guy, old ugly guy, would have just balanced out the set. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see if he can get back there in time. I have my doubts about that. There's got to cruise up Route 66 when this one comes to an end, but we'll do see if we can get back there in time. New Bremen just takes their second time out. The ball's on the 45-yard line. They need to get about four on third down here. Yeah, you got Partington in the eye here at the up fullback position. Look for uh, look for Meyer to get it again and power run to the right side. That he does. Good call, Scott. He bangs four. First down. He's and gone. Four. There goes That's Meyer a again. Look out. Darren Meyer's going to run it in 55 yards, and that will ice it for the Flyers. Well, that's his fourth touchdown tonight? Fourth touchdown tonight. Wow. He broke a tackle right around the line of scrimmage and set sail. Watch this again on home and replay. Well, see, in July, you're running these sprints out here at two-a-days and summer practices in the heat. Meyer's running those, and he gets to run a 40-plus yard sprint tonight <laughs> under the bright lights of Friday night and scores fourth touchdown. That's impressive. That's a big night. Just 32 seconds went off the clock. Here's the PAT by Bills. Jones will hold again. And a low snap. I think we had a Cardinal offside. Let's see what they choose to do with 157 to go. Well, Mark, I think we went from a point where New Bremen thought, you know, they might get the football with a chance to score and make it interesting to, uh, to I think, the, that Marion Oka has sealed this game, I would say. And they're going to decline a penalty and just let Bills have a shot at it. That was 61 yards, three plays, took 32 seconds, thanks to the 55-yard run by Meyer. Carson Bills. And that kick sails through the uprights. It's 39-16 in favor of the home team. You're watching High School Football on WSN. We're back at Booster Field where OPAC tonight has been the Marion Local Premier Sponsor. For all your industrial painting, standing and assembly needs, call OPAC. Aaron Meyer has broke this one open with a 55-yard touchdown run. Puts his team up 22 with 157 to go. A local will kick off. Deep and in the middle of the field is number 20, Wookie Gogay. Very good. Well, that's what the guy told me on the sidelines. He did we'll, yeah, hope very we, hope good. We, hope we got that one right. There's the kickoff. It's going to sail deep, and Wookie's going to get a chance to run it back. He dies on it, picks it up. And he fights his way to the 20-yard line. And He's fumbled it. He fumbled it, didn't he? Well, they, they're they're going to call him down. Yes, they are. Forward progress had stopped. I think he had a knee down. Wow. Well, that was dangerous. It's one of those situations I corral the guy like we always do. Can you give me all the name pronunciations as we go through it? I think he was trying to help me with Loki, and he wasn't quite sure how it goes, but there's the run back, and where's the ball come out at? Yeah, hard to tell in that scrum. We'll leave it with football belonging to the uh, Cardinals, and they are on their own 20-yard line. They do have a single timeout remaining. And the new quarterback, Ryan Bussey. 
Handoff, Schaefer, uh, Schaefer trying to get wide and runs into his own sideline, stops the clock. New quarterback is Ryland Bussey, 6'3", sophomore. Comes the second team defense in for the Flyers, and they have held the opponent to 16 tonight. He's been scoring a lot of points this year on the season. Yeah, Ryland Bussey is, is, is perfect on the year. He's 4 for 4, Mark. 29 yards. Four-yard pickup. See number four in the backfield. The sweep. And there's a flag right behind this one. Let's see how this one goes. Tackle was by Bills. He's your sophomore kicker. Makes that tackle. And what's the call? Face mask call is going to go against New Bremen. So they're going to back this one up and wipe out some of that run. Back to the 23-yard line it goes. A little unusual for an yeah. offensive player to have a face mask call against him. Second down. we got 90 seconds left in this one. Second down seven after the penalty. Bussy in the backfield. Takes a high snap, hands off again. Wokey. Yep, got to try to get to the edge. Good tackle on the far side of the field. That tackle was made by Devin Francis, a junior for this team. Where's the football down at, Scott? 24, 25, 24 yard line, I guess. Yeah, I think we're probably going to have two more plays here, a third down and maybe a fourth down. Bussy alone in the backfield this time. It's another handoff. This handoff goes to the number 36. And he's going to move Trevor the chains. Schaefer. We'll have yeah. a first down. First so down. Got one. enough time for maybe uh, one more play or so. One more. Pantry Pride first down in this one. They wind the clock. The ball's at the 33 yard line. Bussy in the backfield. Trevor Schaefer with him. And this is Schaefer again. Cuts inside and he gets, pushes the pile close to the 40 yard line with 10 seconds to go. And let's see if that one becomes the last play of this game. Marion Local survives a New Bremen comeback and puts a couple of touchdowns on the board themselves in quarter number four. And they will take a 38-16 victory over the New Bremen Cardinals. Post game show coming up right after this. You're watching high school football on WOSN. We're back at Marion Local where they have taken a MAC victory this evening over the New Bremen Cardinals. First order of business tonight is to present our Stolly Hustle Insurance Award winner. You can check out the highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on WSN U page and uh, YouTube page. And Scott Nurse, for me, it didn't take very long. Somebody scored four touchdowns and played a whole lot of very good defense tonight. His name is Darren Meyer. Well, you said it. You said it all right there. I, I thought he he stepped up big time. You know, we talk about big players make big plays in big games, and Darren Meyer certainly did on both sides of the football. I mean, he really did. He, uh, he scored four touchdowns, but I think he really uh, was the main, the main cog in that defensive um, unit of Marion Local. I mean, he really did a good job there in the middle at linebacker. So he's our Stolly Hustle Award winner. The Bremen drops to 4-1 and one on the year, 2-1 and one in the MAC. Marion Local continues undefeated. They are 5-0 and 3-0 oh and and oh in the MAC. I want to thank the athletic director here, Mr. Dan Koenig. And we want to thank our crew, as always, Director Wayne Getz, Replay, Derek Henry, and our camera people tonight, Jacob O'Neill, Seth Hagemeyer, and Marshall Jordan. We appreciate all their efforts this evening. Marion Local stays undefeated. You've been watching High School Football on WOSN.